Hey and welcome to Never Run to with Aragon. So let's go over all of the best gear that healers should be using within module 23. Just so you know, these are just my opinions and from my experience playing the game. So we have these new dragon hunts and with it we can obtain some of the best gear within the game now. And which stuff is good for healers do you ask? Well in this video I'd like to go over everything from your headpiece, neck, waist, rings, even your shirt and pants and find out which is the best you should be using for your healer. Now it will differ a little bit whether you're a cleric healer or a paladin healer or a warlock or a bard and I shall go over each of those differences when we get there. So first of all I'd like to give a special thank you to all of these channel members for the added extra support. Now as a healer you want to focus on capping out your power, you can get to a maximum of 90%, your outgoing healing, you want to get a balance between them. Don't go getting power over outgoing healing when your outgoing healing is significantly lower than the other. And then lastly, you want to go for crit strike and crit severity. Generally, I'd like to go with crit severity as my priority and then crit strike as last. You can ignore the stats I have right here. I have not finalized my build whatsoever, but I will be coming out with a published build in the near future specifically for my paladin healer. So let's go over all the gear pieces you want to be using for a general healer. Now I've gone and made a document which you can go and look at with a link in the video description below which has all of these gear pieces listed. So initially we start out with our head pieces and with the new mythic gear from Dragon Hunts we can get this serene hood and this sharp circlet. Now these are essentially exactly the same just one giving crit strike and the other giving crit severity. However, I prefer to go the more reliable route of taking either the Petrified Bark Crown or the Rain Catcher. However, if you'd like to run with an Augment Companion, like the I cost you to an ion stone or the better one which is the polar bear cub then you might not need these ratings and then just going with these head pieces that give those stacks of crit strike and crit severity can be better but they're very hard to maintain as each stack has a 10 second cooldown they don't refresh themselves when you gain a new stack so only on like a cleric or a warlock where you have lots of heal over time is it really feasible to run with these I personally don't on my Paladin Healer for that very reason. You can see I'm running the Rain Catcher and an alternative is the Petrified Bark Crown named a little bit differently. You'll just have to look Petrified up and you could find them on the Auction House possibly but they originally come from Masterwork. Then we move to our armor pieces and you can see right here I'm running with the Tactful Leathers and it works pretty well on a Paladin Healer. This new Tactful Leathers is literally just an upgrade from the Bone Devil's Ribcage so you may as well go for that and loss its record recommended just giving you a bunch of crit strike and crit severity and pretty easy to maintain as unlike the aforementioned head pieces you can actually refresh the timer on those stacks and they last for a good 15 seconds you then have the superior plate of the dragon hunter which essentially just gives you a nice reliable boost in outgoing healing and this depends on how many teammates you have in your party you'll generally run with five and that's a 7.5 percent boost to your outgoing healing and you'll also boost up everybody's forte by 1.5 percent it can help but generally people like to have their stats capped and so running with a more public group with newer players this can even be better to help them just with their stats a little bit we can see then you have like the raindrop remnant which is essentially a downgrade from hardcore Voss, the new Dragon Hunter one here, the Superior Plate, is again essentially an upgrade of this, just from 1% to 1.5%, and it's the same with the Forte. Additionally, we have some more armor pieces. You may have seen the Serene robes, and they essentially give you this crit strike to a maximum of 12%. Unfortunately, I cannot recommend these as they're not great. It takes you a full minute to get to 12% and when you die all those stacks are reset to zero. Same when you leave combat, all the stacks are reset to zero. Of course if you're running content let's say Tower of the Mad Mage or Zariel and you know you won't die well that can then be reliable since you aren't leaving combat for the entire trial. But again it's only 12% whereas the attack for levelers is a total of 15 percent then you have like the breastplate of the crusader which i did run for a while it does give ratings which you might not be able to fit but again it 
it's only generally good if you're a paladin healer alternatively if you're running the battle tempered you could have this proc as well on your healer in terms of the overall stats it gives you it, you could say it's better than the superior plate as you're gaining 8000 which is 8% rather than just 7.5% otherwise you have the sharp jacket from dragon hunts giving a total of 15% crit severity this is all right to maintain as you'll gain a stack every time you attack but the stacks expire so quickly that as a healer who where you're trying to focus on just healing all the time not really feasible on a dps very nice you do get a reduction to your deflex severity however that generally won't matter too much otherwise there's the petrified bark hide and that just gives you power rating nice big boost of power rating very reliable but again i would recommend taking like the tactful leathers or the superior plate then for our arms a new piece is the serene mitts and they can give you medics devotion which is up to 7.5 percent power boost and you haven't got any other arms like that However, it's only really good on a cleric or a bard, not something I would run on a paladin healer. Other options are the superior crushers, which are simply an upgrade of the arms of last resistance. You can see when you have no teammates within 30 feet of you, you gain power and defense. However, this actually works better than you might think. You only need one party member further than 30 feet to trigger this bonus. So that's Herald's Decree. And I would highly recommend you pick up those and just stand a little bit away from the group. 30 feet is pretty small. Then we have the sharp reachers and they're a little bit odd on how they work. If the target you're aiming at is further than 25 feet, you gain that 6% power and you'll gain it just before you heal them if you're aiming at them. And you can see if you're aiming at them by that circle in the middle of your screen there, whatever you're looking at. If it's more than 25 feet away from you, well, then you would gain that 6% power. Can be pretty easy as a healer to maintain that buff, but it, again, it will depend on what content you're running. Otherwise, there's the petrified covers, which I do highly recommend as a healer. It's a nice, reliable boost of ratings, crit severity, but again, you might have too many ratings to make this fit since we only need four of our stats capped. Then we move on to our feet. And I personally like the serene boots of the dragon hunter. They can just give a nice reliable boost of power rating. Again, depending if you're running an augment or not, you might not be able to fit ratings, but I would highly recommend you do so. Although there is the alternatives as the tactful boots of the dragon hunter. Whenever your action points are less than 80%, your power is increased by 7%. The problem is when you cast your daily power, you usually want your power capped. Although I don't know, let's say I cast my angel of life and it's going to heal for the duration. Is it going to gain that 7% power buff on the heals after I've cast it? Same with the hollowed ground that would need to be tested. It's unlikely though, as they very well would probably Probably just take your stats upon when you cast that daily power further testing would be needed and otherwise I would recommend just taking a reliable boost of power rating making it fit in your build otherwise you have the greaves of the light guard which is just simply a copy and paste and then you have the fey decorated boots which can be a little bit more easier to maintain as you only need your hit points at 50% not 85% then we move to our rings and we do have a new ring which is the soothsayer's ring of absolution it's pretty neat however it gives forte rating which isn't the best forte for a healer is pretty meh you have the red eyes glare from Voss, which just gives five percent power and you'll get a chunk of crit severity rating as well as what you need there is the new soul fire ring of piety and in my opinion it's just pretty garbage the way it works is when you stand still for six seconds you gain that boost of outgoing healing and action point gain however as soon as that six seconds is over you're going to have to stand still for another six seconds to activate the bonus again so you only have a 50 percent maximum uptime so in my opinion not worth using at all you're better off with a more consistent bonus like your glowing restoration ring from your masterworks which just gives you maximum of five percent outgoing healing and then also some neat healer stats of crit strike and outgoing healing then there's also the groves crystal tears which i don't really recommend at this point there are just better options like the glowing restoration ring red eyes glare and the soothsayer's ring of absolution 
The Grove's Crystal Tears can be useful on a Paladin Healer or if again you're running with the Battle Tempered Combat Enchantment. It gives you Crit Strike of 5% whenever you have a Shield or Temp HP. That's that yellow stuff or blue stuff which adds to your HP bar. You'll see it down below there. Otherwise, the big boost in outgoing healing rating can be very useful. Then we go to our Neck Waste and Artifact set. And personally, I like to go with the Tiamat set. But there's some good options now. For example, the Dragon Soul Brooch that gives our Celestial Alacrity or the Dragon Mind Charm with Insightful Alacrity. Again, you'll need the Waste Piece, which is the Dragon Soul Belt, and you'll need the Artifact to go with them. You can read them there. And what they both give, pretty much exact same bonus, is up to a maximum of 7.5% stats. And how you will gain those stats is by casting Encounter Powers. And generally healers will cast encounter powers to heal except if you're a bard now you can use animation cancelling to very easily gain these stacks and maintain them especially on a paladin the drawback is then you're going to have to be occupied and reminding yourself to actually do that as the stacks only last for five seconds and will all expire if you don't cast another encounter power within five seconds and you can't realistically maintain healing by casting encounter powers that often without animation cancelling you can see i have the set just here and when i go to cast the heal you can see each time i gain one of these stacks and you can see i'm not actually casting the heal i'm cancelling it by using my shield just before the cast time is over but it still gives me a stack which gives me those stats of crit strike you can see they're all gone as soon as five seconds is over so it's not so easy to maintain. You're going to have to occupy a lot of your time by doing this. But having a power which costs divinity and never goes on cooldown unless you have no divinity is pretty good. So if you're not up for the task, there are definitely better options, as I suggest running with the Tiamat set. It has a lower item level, so you will take a hit than just running the newer sets. But that item level won't matter at all if you're running scaled content. You can read what the waste pieces give there in terms of the ability scores, but usually they don't really matter compared to the bonus that the set gives you. The Tiamat is just a nice, reliable 5% outgoing healing. Otherwise, there's a set from Vault of Stars, which has the Star Choker, the Twinkling Stars, and the Fey Emblem. It works a bit janky. It depends on your hit points and your target's hit points. If I'm at full HP and my target's at 50% HP, I will gain only a 5% boost. If my target is at like less than 1% HP and I'm at full, then you will just about gain a 10% boost of my healing to that target. And the more you heal them up, the less benefit you gain to those continual heals. So in my opinion, it's not really reliable and it's pretty terrible for shielding on like a paladin. Otherwise, you have the Undying Brooch that goes with the Beyond Death set here, which just gives 3% power. It's nice and reliable and the item level on it is pretty good as well. However, it comes from the Zen market traditionally and you can also get it for free though from the On the Wings of Dragons campaign right now. It is limited time. Then we go down to our shirt and pants and there is a new set with the dragon hunts. You can get like the vibrant dwarven body pattern which has outgoing healing or you can get another one which has the crit severity and you can gain the set dwarven resilience which gives you 1500 power and crit severity along with awareness. Overall in terms of the amount of stats it gives you it's good but you only gain then a total of 3000 ratings in the healing stats and that's only 3% versus the shirt you could get then from dragon bone veil which is the tainted shirt of the dragon cult giving you awareness outgoing healing but most importantly five percent outgoing healing you do take a small hit to your control resistance of 25 percent but normally you really won't feel anything with that you're not realistically going to get hit much and when you do that's generally because the tank's not doing his job so reduction to your control resistance you really won't feel it and i haven't done so using this shirt for a very long time and so personally i would take this shirt and not use the set and for your trousers finally you would use one of the new legendary ones as it gives 2400 crit strike and it's very rare to see offensive stats on trousers so absolutely go for this one overall that's my entire document and my recommendations for those gear pieces for all of your slots as a healer 
I haven't gone over weapons, but basically you're either going with the Masterwork set or you're going with, let's say, the Lionheart or the new Mythic weapons. That's about it. So overall, hopefully this was somewhat insightful to you guys. And again, I'd like to give a massive thank you to all of these channel members for helping me keep my channel going. And if I presented this well, consider leaving the video a like. And if you're new around here, consider subscribing. We'll see you guys around. Goodbye for now.